With that, we say good afternoon. Thanks for joining us here first at four. I'm Adam Clements. And I'm Paula Todi in for Megan. We begin today with a warning about the newest variants of COVID-19 now at the highest level of spread in the tri-state. Even though it's mostly leading to milder symptoms, hospitals are again seeing a jump in cases with serious illness. Medical reporter Liz Bonus explains why. Hello to you. What's concerning to local health care providers right now is that even though hospitalizations are much lower with this surge compared to Delta and Omicron at the start of the year, those who are coming in due to complications are severely ill. With this new surge, we're really starting to get to see much sicker patients. Dr. Thomas Lamar, the infectious disease specialist at the Christ Hospital, told me, well, the newer variants of Omicron do produce milder symptoms for most people. We have patients now in the ICU, whereas, you know, a month ago we did not. His team telling me what the Health Collaborative and other health systems also report. When it comes to those in the hospital being treated for COVID-19. Our census has probably doubled over the past several weeks. Well, not every patient that comes into the hospital comes in for treatment of the virus. Some may be admitted for a heart issue or, you know, some uh, other ailment. But upon admission, they test positive for COVID. That does not mean that their COVID disease doesn't progress while they're there and they end up getting COVID treated for COVID. What that shows us, Tiffany Mattingly says, is that even though we think of this as not a lethal variant. What we look at in regards to the severity of illness is the length of stay for some of these patients and how many are ending up in the ICU, how many are ending up on ventilators and how many are dying and we're still seeing all of the above. The reason they are now asking us to mask up indoors, get vaccinated and stay home if we are sick is that the goal is to get ahead of it this time and not get to a place where we overwhelm our own healthcare system and people are not able not just to get the care for this illness, but for others as well. Guys?